Hey, I'm Kevin Madigan and we're here at the Village Recorder in Studio B and uh, welcome to Burl TV. I'm Kevin Madigan and today we're in Studio B in the Village Recorder and I'm working on uh, Graham Nash's latest solo album and uh, we're using the Burl Mothership uh, for all our A to D and D to A needs um, and we're having a fantastic time with it. Uh, I think I was recommended by a friend uh, actually that plays in the Crosby, Stills and Nash band uh, that recommended Burl to me, uh, Kevin McCormick and we have a lot to thank him for that. It's worked out fantastically. Um, yeah, we can't say enough good things about the uh, Burl D to A's and A to D's. Uh, it's like uh, everyone chooses it when you give them the option of uh, comparing it to something else. They're fantastic. We did a, a quite a, a bit of testing uh, in parallel with uh, another converter um, on the uh, D to A side of things and we uh, had it bust into the console and we were very careful about levels and uh, so everybody that came in, everybody that's been involved with the project was uh, given the option to AB uh, both and uh, everybody without fail uh, chose the burl. It was uh, quite amazing. It's not something that you just think you can hear. There's a marked improvement in uh, stereo width and depth and uh, just the overall sound of how, how it works. It's uh, just fantastic. Now that we use the, the A to D and uh, D to A's uh, for the entire project over 64 channels, um, we'd actually allotted uh, a little bit more time than we've needed and I think that has uh, a lot to do with how good things sound coming back and uh, just the, the really warm, uh, clear feel of everything and uh, it's just helped us immensely in the mixing end of things. I think that that sped things up quite a lot more than we were expecting. Uh, it's been a little bit of a surprise actually uh, and saved us a little bit of time. So we're going to be out of the studio a little bit quicker than we expected into mastering. We uh, took the B2 bomber in after probably working uh, on two songs and on the third we started using uh, the, the B2 bomber and uh, that was when we uh, did quite a bit of uh, a, a B testing and uh, when everybody chose the, the bomber and uh, we knew we were really onto something good then and uh, we thought wow we, you know, we're gonna have to do everything with this this is you know something that I don't want to be without if I'm uh, working with uh, Pro Tools or it's just something that's indispensable now uh, I think uh, if, if, it's, if you work with uh, any type of uh, A to D, this is one that uh, is something quite different and special. It's not, it has a character to it that I really like. It's not just uh, another box, it actually is something quite special. Like uh, any of us, we take a, a lot of care in, in the recording process and choosing things and you know, choosing consoles and uh, outboard and stuff like that. And for it to actually, you know, come back uh, in the uh, from the recordings and uh, sound just the way you want it to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's an important thing. And that's, that's why it's uh, going so well. You know, you're just listening to things and going, yeah, it's great. Especially when we don't have the, the comparison set up anymore and we just, you know, didn't need it. It was sort of, we just like, we're, so, we're sold. We came, we, I think it became kind of a, a novelty of God. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. I was like, good. That's great. <laughs> My name's Shane Fontaine and I'm guitar player with Graham Nash producing his record. And uh, we've been very fortunate to have had uh, one of the Burl units uh, at uh, our disposal for the mixing of this uh, new Graham Nash album and as soon as we received it and you know uh, were a being the mixes the the difference was was obvious you know and and significant and um, 
we've tried some different, I was saying a little while ago, kind of like Coke, Pepsi, kind of take taste test things where you, you, you don't know which one you're listening to, you know, except Kevin, our engineer, did. And, and so you'd be switching back and forth and, and, uh, and each time we go, yep, that one, like that one, he's going, yeah, that's, that's the right answer. <laughs> you know, and each time it was, it was the Burl mix that we were listening to that, that everyone was, you know, responding to. And, um, you know, and in that regard, what is it? You know, you, yeah, it's just, it sounds better. <laughs>